Hello everybody, happy Saturday. Um, I just thought I was thinking the other day and I uh, thought I would use Saturdays to do kind of like a uh, positive message, um, sports message or whatever you want to call it. Uh, but some of my experiences uh, as I kind of moved around the National Football League, so I thought I'd kind of share some of those stories with you if they're inspirational. Um, but, uh, so yeah, so let's get into it. So, as some of you probably know, um, you know, when I came out of college, um, I floated around the National Football League for about four, about five years or so. Um, and my first stop just happened to be the um, Oakland Raiders. Um, so while I was with the Oakland Raiders, um, and don't ask me why I went to um, to the Oakland Raiders because at that time, on the in their secondary alone, they had a guy named um, some of you might be fam familiar with. They had a guy named Rod Wilson, Rod Woodson, at one corner. Um, they had a guy named Charles Woodson, uh, Hall of Famer, um, at safety. They had the first round draft pick that they had taken out of Miami by the name of uh, Philip Buchanan. Um, and they had another kid by the name of Anthony Dorsett, who they were grooming to kind of be um, one of their uh, franchise type players. So asking me why I went there, I couldn't tell you. It just, you know, it was what I was supposed to be, you know, at that time. Um, but, you know, on the, opposite, on the opposite side of the ball, on the offense, they had a guy named Jerry Rice. They also had a guy named Tim, uh, Tim Brown, who, if anybody knows football, both those guys were great wide receivers, and Jerry Rice, you know, obviously, arguably, uh, one of the greatest wide receivers to ever play the game. Um, I was extremely, extremely fortunate to be able to kind of line up against these guys um, on a daily basis in one-on-one -on -one drills and seven-on-sevens and team drills and things of that nature to kind of, you know, compete with and against these guys on a, on a daily basis. So for me, um, that, that would be an experience uh, that I'm never going to forget as long as I live. But the, the experience that I have with Jerry Rice um, that, is, that I've kind of taken with me and I've applied to my everyday life uh, there was one day where we were all we were on the sideline during the special teams period, um, and Jerry was on a knee and I was on a knee and kind of watching the special teams period kind of uh, happen. And um, you know, because Jerry had been in the league for so long, you know, me being the person I am, I wanted to you know capitalize on the opportunity to kind of ask him a question, you know, and and me being a rookie, me being a, in the NFL for the first time and not aware, you know, I was a little nervous, but again, you know, trying to take take advantage of the opportunity. So I asked him um, a question. Um, and I kind of expected one answer, but I actually got an answer that, again, I kind of have, you know, applied to my everyday life and, and have kind of taken with me. And if you, um, if you're uh, ever been coached by me as a high school football player, um, you've heard this story on many occasions. As again, I think it's an important message that we all should carry with us, whether we play football or uh, or any sport in that matter. Um, so basically I asked him, you know, I asked him there, I said, Jerry, you know, you know, you've been in the league for a very long time. And I think at the time he's somewhere between like 30 something, 35, you know, 34, 35 years old. And so I asked him, I said, you know, you have all these young cats coming in every single year. I said, you know, how do you do it? Like, you know, how do you, how are you able to compete um, at this level? Uh, have you been, have you been able to do it for so long? And um, he, he gave me an answer that, like I said, it kind of took me aback because I wasn't expected, expecting it to be that deep of an answer. And he said, you know what? He said, all I do is make the play when the play comes my way. And he said, it doesn't, and it, he said, I'm not just talking about football. He said, in life, you know, whenever a play comes your way, just make the play. Whenever the play comes your way, make the play. And he said, I do that on the field and I do that in life. And what that meant, and what that means is, you know, whenever we have an opportunity to do something, just take a chance, you know, try to make a play. And, and if you do that, you're gonna be successful. So for me, like I said, I apply it to my everyday life. Whenever there's an opportunity, I do my best to take advantage of those opportunities. Now, granted, I might not always make the play, right? Or I might not always win, but at the end of the day, I always make the attempt to make a play at the end of the day. So again, that's just one of my stories uh, and one of my experiences that I had, I was extremely fortunate to be a part of. Um, and again, I appreciate Jerry for the information that he gave me. He may not have known and he affected a young kid like myself's life um, as much as he did at that point, but he did, and I appreciate it. Um, and like I said, if you can take something out of this message, if you can take something out of what he said to me, 
uh, then please do so. And again, like I said, if you ever face an opportunity, if you ever face with making a play, just make the play. And that's all you can do. If the play never comes your way, you know what I'm saying? If they never throw the ball your way, you know, if you never get an opportunity, then there's nothing you can do about that. But if it should happen to happen that way, if it happens to come your way, then just make a play. Again, have a blessed Saturday. Like, share, subscribe, and um, I'll be talking to you guys again soon.